Hello and welcome back. Um, as you guys can hear, I have a cold right now. It's really bad. Um, actually, the cold isn't that bad, but my throat is hurting so bad right now. Um, and I actually, I just, I just want to, I just want to get good again, you know. Um, so I decided to make like. I just say to make a really, really, really good food for you when you are in the position that I am right now. So, here I have a lot of different stuff. So, I have coconut oil. Uh, you, I always use. That's the oven. If you hear that again, that's the oven. Um, the coconut oil. This is curry. I'm going to use all of this. It's about three tablespoons of curry. This is honey. It's about four tablespoons of honey. And this is two tablespoons of salt and a lime, an apple, an onion, and garlic cloves. I'm not going to use all of these garlic cloves, but I think I'm going to use about two. So let me get that dicing. Okay, so I am now done with the apples, and we're going to put everything into the mixer. So let me just add this in here. Take the lid off. Um, there we go, and we're just going to dump that all in there. And let's do the onion. I'm not going to have all of this onion. That's way too much onion for all of this. I'm going to have about this much. Make them a little bit smaller so that my mixer will... Love me more. There we go. And then we're gonna add the um, the garlic. And I'm gonna have two garlic cloves for this. So this one is already fixed up. So I'm gonna do that. Put that in there. And then do the bigger one. And now that I've done that, I'm gonna add the. Um, I'm going to add the lime. But first, before I do that, just let me clean up the area and I'll be going to squeeze this into my mixer. And let me just like, grab the mixer and just put it over here. And with a spoon, I'm just going to push that in there and I'm just going to squeeze towards the spoon. And I've, I've showed you guys this trick before. It is so freaking awesome. There are these like pressers out there. I haven't got one. I, sh I should get one of those. Line, line, I, would, ugh, I can't speak. A line presser. I should get one of those. Okay, so I'm gonna add the whole line because I want the vitamins in the lines. The lines in the line. I am now going to add Maddie the salt in there, and I'm adding the curry in here, and then I'm adding the honey. You can use the same spoon as you use for the line to just get everything in there. Just scoop everything up. There we go. And we're just going to put this on the mixer and we're going to mix it until it's oh, I'll just rip it up. So it is now done. I mix everything up and I'm just gonna pour everything into this bottle. And um, I went ahead and I fixed the coconut oil, put it in the stove and melted it. I took about a tablespoon of oil. I'll just add this in here, there. We're just gonna mix everything. Just like that. I already went ahead and I emptied, I fixed everything that I need to fix. So the chicken is on the pan, the oven is on, and we're just going to glaze the chicken, basically. And I'm going to try to basically use everything. We'll see if I'm going to use everything. We'll see. Actually, let's just in case, because I don't know if there's going to be any leftovers. And if there's going to be any leftovers, and this is really, really good, I don't want to throw it away. But if I use this on the chicken, I have to. Just for the heck of it. 
I'm going to add some in here. Just like that. I'm not going to use that at all. Um, if this doesn't isn't enough, then I will use that. So let's get started. So okay. <clears throat> so the chicken has been in the oven for about forty minutes. And I'm going to take it out and I'm going to flip it so that the breast will be up instead of upside down. Okay, flipping a chicken is always hard. So I have these tongs right here and a spatula. We're going to see if we can just flip it. Um, it is liquid in here, so I don't want that to splash all over the place. So I have to be super careful. So what I want to do is to stick the spatula up inside of the chicken. Because of the most of the liquid is not on here, I'm going to try to add some on here just so we get good. Um, that's something I just noticed. It was like a really, really nice area right there when I ate before I flipped it. And I want that on this side too. I don't know how easy that will get, but I'm going to try at least. So let's just try to scoop it up and just place it on here. Just relacing it pretty much. So this is going to be in for about 15 more minutes. And I'm going to just put this back in the oven for about 5, um, I, what did I say, 15 more minutes. And then it'll be done. Okay, so the chicken is not done. And we're gonna, I'm just going to take it out of the oven, and I'm gonna, we're going to see how it looks like. Okay? As you guys can see, it was a little bit burnt here, but that's fine. It's okay. Um, I just put it on the grill in the end, and I, I kept it on there for a little bit too long. But this is the... Um, this is the result of the chicken. And I hope you guys try to do this yourself and enjoy it if you do. Anyways, you guys have a very, very good day and we'll see you each other in the next video. Bye! And hopefully I'm well by then. Hopefully I'm not thinking about it. Anyways, bye!